One, two, three, four, five. Senses. Let's explore our senses. We all have five senses. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. Hey. One. I can see with my eyes. I see you. You see me. I look all around. See, see, see. Two. I can hear with my ears. Stomping feet, clapping hands. Sounds are all around. Here, here, here. Three. I touch and feel with my skin. I feel hot. I feel cold. Soft, ruffle, smooth. Touch, touch, touch. Four. I can taste with my mouth. I taste the foods that I eat. Salty, sour, sweet. Taste, taste, taste. Five. I can smell with my nose. I can smell stinky cheese. But smelling pepper makes me sneeze. Achoo! Smell, smell, smell. Senses. Let's explore our senses. We all have five senses. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. Hey! Sight, sight. I can see with my eyes. Hear, hear. I can hear with my ears. Touch, touch. I touch and feel with my skin. Taste, taste. I can taste with my mouth. Smell, smell. I can smell with my nose. Senses. Let's explore our senses. We all have five senses. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. Hey! Senses. Let's explore our senses. We all have five senses. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. Hey! See, hear, touch, taste, smell. We now study the vocabulary related to the five senses. We will learn the names of the senses and the sensory organs. We will also learn several adjectives and verbs to describe how we see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. The senses are fundamental to perceive and to describe the world. We have five senses, sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. Each one of them is really important in our everyday life. We use at least one of our five senses every moment of every day and they are on duty even when we are asleep. Our senses work together to let our brain know what is going on around us. They help to keep us safe by warning us of any danger. Five senses There are five senses. Sense of sight. Eyes. I see with my eyes. What can you see? I can see the sun. It's shining bright. I can see the stars. There are millions of stars. I can see the clouds. They are up in the sky. I can see the traffic lights. Red, stop, green, go. I can't see anything. Turn on the lights. Thank you. Sense of hearing. Ears. I hear with my ears. What can you hear? I can hear the thunder. It's going to rain. I can hear the music. It's very loud. I can hear a dog barking. Quiet dog. I can hear the alarm clock. Time to wake up. I can hear a baby crying. Oh, calm down. Sense of taste. Tongue. I taste with my tongue. What can you taste? I can taste a hamburger. It's yummy. I can taste chocolate. It's sweet. 
I can taste meatballs. They are spicy. I can taste lemon. Lemon is sour. I can taste popcorn. It's salty. Sense of touch. Hands. I touch with my hands. What can you touch? I can touch the cactus. It's prickly. Ouch! I can touch the soap. It's slippery. I. I can touch a rock. It's hard. I can touch a teddy bear. It's very soft. I can touch a snowman. Brrr, cold, very cold. I can't touch fire. Hot, <gasps> very hot. Sense of smell. Nose. I smell with my nose. What can you smell? I can smell flowers. They smell so nice. I can smell socks. They are stinky. I can smell gingerbread man cookies. They smell yummy. Goodbye. Goodbye. This painting is Allegory of the Five Senses by artist Pietro Paolini. In this painting, each individual represents one of the five senses. At first glance, this is simply a scene in a darkened inn frequented by the poor and down and out. Embedding a classical allegory or a symbolic image in such a subject makes it especially intriguing. Each person acts out one of the five senses. The hearing is represented by the woman with the lute. At center. The taste is represented by the man emptying a flask of wine. The smell is represented by the young man with a melon. The sight is represented by the man on the right holding a pair of spectacles. And the touch is represented by the two people who are fighting. Paolini's allegory dates from his early years in Rome, where he studied the paintings of Caravaggio between 1571 and 1610 known for their realism and strong modeling in light and shade. This is Still Life with Musical Instruments by Peter Cleese, an allegory of five senses. The painting illustrates the senses through musical instruments, a compass, a book, food and drink, a mirror, incense and an open perfume bottle. The tortoise may be an illustration of touch or an allusion to the opposite because the tortoise isolating in its shell. The painting was painted in 1623 and is located in the Louvre. Before I get to talking about the picture, I have a few things to say about the author. He was born in Berkham, near Antwerp, in the Netherlands. He was a still life painter. None of his paintings portray people. Now, about the painting. In general, it's not bad. It looks very realistic, and that's a quality I admire a lot in paintings, since no matter what I draw, it's never realistic. One of the things I like about it is that it stands out from the standard still life. Usually, it will contain flowers, fruits, maybe a pitcher of water or something. This is the first still life I have seen with violins and a turtle. I like the fact that the painter found something that would make his still life stand out from the crowd. The objects on the table are very interesting. When examined more closely, there's a compass, a book, several unidentifiable objects on a plate. I can't call it food. Looks inedible. There's also a mirror with the reflection of the glass of something. Wine. Off to the left, there are some more strange objects in what looks like a gravy boat, as well as a metal object with a cord around it. I suppose the artist found everything that looks interesting that he had in his house put it on the table, and drew it.